everybody, Dan here. I'm out mid-ride at the moment. Uh, it's a really nice, beautiful, warm evening here. The sun's gone in. Um, we've had a really, really hot like, week or so heat wave in the UK. So it's nice, it's a bit fresher tonight. Um, I'd originally planned to do some sort of local stuff tonight. I found a little drop area uh, just close to my house and I thought that I'd, I'd spend some time there sessioning some drops this evening. But there are some kids there hanging around and I don't want to make a fool of myself. So I'll, um, I'll bring that to you another day and you can laugh at me falling off some tiny two foot drop. So um, I'm in the park right now, um, really nice here. Um, and I thought that I would do a, a bike check with you. So um, here's uh, my newest bike, uh, Caliber Boss Nut. Enjoy. So here is the Caliber Boss Nut, um, which is sold through Go Outdoors, which is a big uh, UK outdoor chain. Um, kind of specialises in the cheaper end stuff. Uh, this bike was, I think it retails at £1,300, um, but then you get a member's discount card and that takes it down to 1000 and then I, I got a 10% off voucher as well. So it's a mid-travel uh, trail bike, really. I think it's about 130 at, at the rear and 140 maybe at the front. Um, pretty standard, entry-level sort of stuff. So you've got a SRAM um, NX 1x11 um, gear set. Um, these pedals I've put on myself. These are uh, Superstar um, Nano Evo pedals, which again relatively cheap. I think they're about 40 or 50 pounds. Um, they're pretty good though, pretty solid. I uh, like having the, the flat um, pedals. I don't really get on with clips. Uh, they're not for me. I've tried them and I found that I'm not that confident on them. Um, I've got a, a KS Lev dropper post, which is a lever one. You can see that goes down and then goes up again. That was off another bike. I've got a, a fully rigid hardtail uh, for a fully rigid bike with um, that I had that on. So um, I put it on this one and put a, a seat post shim in. Um, and then I've got some uh, grips here, which are the DMR death grips. They're really nice. I've had them on another bike as well. And I found that I get on with these pretty well. So um, all in all, apart from that, the bike's standard. Um, comes tubeless ready, um, so you just have to put some valves and goo in. Um, oh, actually no, I, um, I upgraded the brakes as well because I left the calipers, but I felt that the discs were too small. So um, I changed out the front disc and put a 203 on the front and then moved the 180 onto the rear and put a different bracket on there. So um, yeah, all in all, I'm really, really happy with the bike. So there you go, that's the bike, really like it, I think for the money it's really good value and if you're just getting into mountain biking and you want your first full suspension bike then I think it's a really really good one to go for, not a huge amount of money, pretty decent spec, all the um, magazines seem to write it up really well and give it good reviews and compare it to bikes that are sort of you know, 50%, 100% more expensive. So um, I really like it. So that's the first in a series of um, my bikes. So um, I'll see you out there on the trails. Take care.